Gets committed one error. This wasn't the final handshake for the Renegades in last week's Scotiabank Canadian Open, but it was one of their biggest moments. As the host club, White Rock went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team USA, the defending world champions, in their first playoff match, and they came out smiling. Although they lost 7-0, the Renegades held Team USA in check for most of the game and were out hitting them 4-3 going into the fourth inning. It's unfortunate that the score didn't really reflect the entire game because I felt we really played well. Uh, playing a game like that against a team that you know is probably one or two in the world right now, it's just about the experience. Making sure everyone gets in, everyone gets in at that, and really seeing what other girls in the world are capable of playing like and trying to see how you snap that. So it was a really good experience overall. This year was the first that saw the Canadian Open undertake such a large international format. For the Renegades, it gave them a chance to be a part of one of the world's largest softball championships and saw them go against powerhouses like the States and Team Australia, as well as clubs from Venezuela, China and California. You don't really see this great of competition anywhere else. It's the best that our team's probably seen in the last year. Up next for White Rock is the BC Provincial Championships and then they're off to Montreal to play in the Nationals, a tournament which they enter as defending champions after they won last year's in Kitchener, Ontario.